So the next thing we're going to look at is actually starting to create our own custom level. You never really want to use the template level um, to build in just because it can add some problems. Um, it also doesn't allow you to create as much, um, uh, have as much control over the things that you create unless you deleted absolutely everything in the world outliner. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get rid of that so that it's just the base template world. And then I'm going to create my first level. So first things first, I'm going to open up my content drawer and I'm going to create a new folder called levels. Now you could do this in the actual content drawer. Um, like I said, as long as it's a folder, it's absolutely fine to save here. Um, but I'm just going to put it in my stuff for now. And then right click and click on level and give this a name. I'm just going to call this level one. And then when you double click on this, it will ask you to save whatever world you're in as well as save the new level that you are creating. Um, so just click save and it will load you up into this blank screen. Now, I'm just going to very quickly put together a sky system. I'm going to tell you more about that sky system later on, um, but I, just for the purposes of this tutorial, um, we're going to work with um, building your basic layout. Um, so to do that, we're going to be using the place access panel quite a lot. So this process is called gray boxing um, and it got its name because you use gray boxes to sort of block out your scene. Um, in Unreal, they're actually called white boxes because the, all of the default shapes are white. Um, so if you just drag and drop a cube in, you'll see that we have our white cube. And this is how we can begin to create our level. So like I said, just a quick refresher, we've got the gizmo here, which allows us to transform the gizmo, uh, transform the object. You can press W to use transform, E for rotate and R for scale. And this can allow us just to create a nice little platform for us to begin creating our first little level on. So that's the cube. We also have the sphere quite hard to see in this lighting condition. There we go. Um, you've got a sphere here, which you can um, drag around and incorporate into your level design. And then you also have the cylinder, the cone, and the plane. Now, these are the usual 3D primitives that are involved in a 3D software. But unlike in Maya, Blender, 3ds Max, that sort of thing, we can't really manipulate the mesh of these objects. Now, Unreal are working on a mesh editor. Um, it is built into the game already, a game engine. Um, so if you do want to play around with that, I suggest you uh, look into a few YouTube videos for that. But I would suggest at the moment still doing your modeling in a modeling software because that's what it's designed for and Unreal is currently not designed for that uh, but maybe one day. So basic level design just gray box out a nice little uh, environment for yourself you might want to start blocking out what you're going to do so for example you can make a scale model inside your um, environment already so we're going to be working on well I'm, I'm going to be working on creating the opening scene from Jurassic Park when they actually arrive on the island. Well, it's not, not the opening scene, but the first time they see um, the visitor center. So I could block out the scene just so we've got the lake here, visitor center here, plus a few sort of trees, use the cones for trees, um, dotted around the environment. And you can see here I'm duplicating the cone. The way to do that is to press Alt and then just transform the gizmo, uh, the object rather, um, so that you have your scene. So I have quickly just sort of laid out this uh, environment um, so that we can have a nice uh, sort of idea of what is going to happen. Okay, uh, now the reason why this has changed color so dramatically is because it's actually um, too thin. Um, so we could change the scaling so that it allows me just to bring that back. There we go. Okay. So what we have here is roughly the design of what we're going to be working on of creating the visitor center with some trees and the lake uh, in front. Um, I'll put a picture up now if you can't remember what we're making. 
So that's how to grey box a scene. Uh, I suggest you sort of always quickly roughly sketch out what you're going to do as well as doing a quick grey box and um, just so that you have a visual reference before you start bringing in assets because as soon as you start bringing in those assets it's going to start getting slow and um, you might not be able to visualize how things are going to happen what it's going to look like that sort of thing so always grey box out your environment as well. Now some people do like to grey box in an unlit mode um, but I do find when your objects as you can see are bright white in unlit mode, in Unreal, everything just sort of blurs into one another. So another way you could do that is the wireframe view. This is sort of the old fashioned uh, way to do 3D, to look at a wireframe layout of what you're gonna look at. Um, you could do that, or um, once you know how to do a basic lighting system, um, which I'll show you in just a sec, um, you can just chuck that in and then you have your environment ready to go.